This is code.org, and this is how to insert something in the list. If you want to insert it at one spot or several times, let's hit run. I'll show you code. Boom. Ta-da! All right, let's dive in. This is code.org. Let's talk about how we insert an item in a list. So I have an example list up here. It's super creative. Apple, bear, car, dog, blah, blah, blah. And I have a button. When I click this button, I want something into my list. So first off, I need to know what I want to add. Of course, I can use this text area here as to add items. First, though, if I do this right now and just type stuff, it's not going to do a thing. We got to get some code in place. That being said, I need to grab whatever is going to be here. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw a variable. You could do it in a function if you're staying it within this, but or an on event function. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here just to be safe. And I'm going to call this user input. And I'm just going to say it's an empty string, right? And a string is a fancy way to say a word or a sentence, but I mean it's quotes. It's quotes. Cool. But it's nothing in there. Nothing's in there yet. So now when the red button is clicked, I'm going to inside of this, right? When we click the red button, I want to grab whatever that is. So now that I have this variable user input, what am I going to make it equal? Well, it's right now it's equal to nothing, but I want a way to get or to grab the text from here. Well, this is when I'm going to head to UI control. So I need to grab this, right? I need to get it and put it somewhere else. So we should look through this and see if there's a way that you might be able to get what someone writes. I hope you're yelling at me because it's, it's, it's get text, Oop, which apparently, where'd it go? Boom, set text is not it. We gotta use get. All right, so I'm gonna get the text of ID. Nope, I don't have anything with ID. If you're in run mode, you have to hit reset, but I'm gonna hover over, mine's user text input. Let me click this down arrowy thing, my Bob. User text input, quapow. So now I have it, but what do I want to do with it? I mean, it's there. I can prove to you it's there. Here, sprite user input down here. Click. It's equal to nothing. Riser red. See, but it's not going anywhere. Now let's say I want to add it into my list. I want to insert it. Except I need to be fancy, and I want it right in between bear and car. All right. Well, then I'm going to use insert item, plop. Now, what's the name of the var list? Well, the name of my list is word list. So that goes here. Now, this is the index. Keep in mind, indexes start at zero. And this is super confusing. But apple is at index zero. Bear is at index one. Car is at index two and dog is at index three. If I say, what's the length of this list? Well, it is four, there's four items. But what are the indexes? Zero, one, two, and three. So if I want it right here, hmm, let's give index two a shot and see what happens. I don't wanna do the letter C, and since I'm gonna use a variable, I gotta kill these quotes. It might fight you on that. Sometimes I have to use the arrow keys. User input. Let's see what this will do now. Boom. Did it work? Let's see. I'm going to add the list down here. Boom. So we can see it down here, and it looks like it's smack dab in the middle. Let's actually get it on the screen, though. So UI. And now that we get the text, we're going to go ahead and set the text. Set text. Same deal. Let me hover output text. And that's just what mine's named here. And now I got to kill these quotes again. You Oh, not user input, right? User input is just going to be this word. I want to sh show my list, okay? Now, to do this, I'm going to want to join the list up. Otherwise, it's going to throw an error. But this isn't about printing just yet, so I'm just going to throw it in here. Quapow. Yep, that's in the correct spot. What if I want it to insert whatever word they type in between every item. Well, for that, you can use a for loop. Smack. Now we know for loops, hopefully, right? For i, so my variable i is equal to zero. Right now I have i less than whatever, four, five, whatever. 
I is going to be less than four, count up by one each time. So the first time this runs through, I will be zero. Zoop hits the bottom, runs whatever codes inside, goes back around second time. Because of I++, plus plus, that means add one to I each time. So now it's one, then two, then three. And once it's three, it gets back up here. Three plus one, three plus plus becomes four. Four is not less than four, and we drop below. However, if we want to add one to each part of our loop, let me show you why this is going to be an issue. Let me go ahead and use our insert oop, word list. I'm going to throw an I here, and I'm going to say insert user input. I goes up to four. There's four items in my list. Run. Hello. And red. Well, wait a minute. Why is it only here at the beginning and then my list remains the same? That is because each time we're doing this, maybe I should council log it so you can see. UI. Each time we're doing this, the list grows. So if we add something or insert something into our list, it's going to push the other stuff further down. So I'm just going to go here, blah, plus, and then I'll do word list. So now let's see what the word list looks like each time. It's just going to log it down here. But uh So each time it's just smacking words onto the front because our list is growing. And so originally it puts it in index 0, loops around. Now it's going to go at index 1. However, index 1 of this list is right here. Puts yo there, index 2. And so we're never actually getting it in the right place. The way to... Uh, to get around this is to do what is a back to front type of loop. And so bear with me. Normally, we would say I is less than the length of the list. However, we're going to start at the end of the list. So now let me switch to text because it might be easier to see. Instead of I plus plus, by the way, I minus minus works. But I also just want, well, what's more clear? Hmm. I'll say minus equals no, I want to be super clear about this. I equals I minus 1. All right, hopefully that will make sense. And now I is going to be less. Nope. We need I more than 0. And not more because we have to go to the very first index. So I is greater than or equal to 0. Now with I greater than or equal to 0, I'm going to do here is where we will do my name of my list is word list dot length. Quicha. And this is probably going to break because it's confusing. And so we're going to have to see where this takes us. Now, length is like we have been using, obviously. And pada. Let's give this a shot. I'm going to get rid of that guy. every other now what this warning is from it's from outputting the whole thing as one how you would avoid that is just using a join statement for now so i'll just join mine word list and then maybe a comma boom 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 and there we go since we start from the back first this will allow us to accomplish what we need I'll throw in another council log so you can see. So I'll put list on that side of it, and I'm just going to do I so you can see what I is as well. Now let's do word list. And this will yell at me because this is not how you're supposed to be printing this. And I need a plus. Just give that a shot. Run. Quad pow. So here we are starting from the top. We start at index four. Index four, keep in mind, is dog. So it loops through and says, up, oh, I need to do something at index four. I'm going to insert word list index four at, so in the word list at index four, I'm going to put user input. By the way, we're starting at four. Keep in mind, there is no index four. Like I've said, apple is zero, bear is one, car is two, dog is three. So this is going to work for us because there is no four and smack. This is the index that we are 
adding it into so index four we put it here we loop back around and list is now three because i is equal to i minus one so now index three well zero index is apple bear index is one car index is two and index three up here was dog index three is now hello index four is dog then we loop back to index two index zero is apple index one is bear up here index two is car here it's hello and index three and you can see how this works in reverse adding our list adding items into our list using insert there is one more thing i want to demo let's say i have another list i'm going to steal this one from them and i want to combine two lists so insert one thing or insert many into a list except I'm going to say 99, 98, 97. Great. And so what I'll do here is if I want to use this instead of what I've done down here, right, instead of the same thing over and over again, that is doable as well. I'm just going to say var uh, j is equal to zero right here. Now insert word list i. And what do I want? I'm saying I'm going to use this num list. So, boop. Now I'll do num list, and then instead of i, I'll do j. j starts at zero. Now down here, what I'll do, now down here, what I'm going to do is we can go ahead and add to j. So j is going to be equal to j plus one, just like i plus plus. But we got to be careful. What if we go outside of this list, right? Outside of num list. If j is greater than the length of the list, it's going to cause an error. Well, under control, I'm going to go ahead and use an if. And what I'll say right under this is if j is greater than or equal to the num list dot length, if it's greater than or equal to that, we're in trouble, right? Because then it will break the next time it tries to go around. And so what I'm going to do to prevent that is remember once I is as long as I is greater than zero, this will loop as long as I is greater than zero, this will loop. So now in my if, well, if J isn't greater than is greater than the length of the list, I need to stop even if we're not all the way through the other list. So I'll say I to negative one. Let's give it a try. Oh, I don't need to type anything. Apple bear 97 car dog. So as long as there's stuff in this list, it will keep working for me. Even if it's longer. And it stops at 95 because I, the list is past the end. But uh, how we can splice together two lists. Pretty cool. Onward.